I understand you know something about Athena Health. I am the CEO of this place. I started with another guy, but he left, so now I'm just the only guy. And when did you found... Uh, Me and 870 of my closest friends. That's a good number, a good number. Huge number. Now, you've done phenomenally well over the last number of years before the current government decided to put in, and you know, depending on who you're talking, 19 billion... Is Stimulus package? Five billion. Yes. We won't put my, what a large package you have, Mr. <laughs> President. That's what I said. And I think that he said that in Turkey recently. Yes. So uh, what, what, what are you expecting to happen in the next... Uh, I don't know. I, I, and part of me is ecstatic, because why not have more stimulus? Mm -hmm. And part of me is like, well, now we're going to stimulate all these losers. And so why couldn't we let them die, and we'll just do it ourselves? So you would like this occurred a year or two oh, from now. Or never, and we'll just... Cause, We've built a service that actually makes doctors more money indigenously, and so we don't need this money from the government. But more, more money, I, you know, who's going to complain about more money going into one's product? I, I heard you speak a while back, and I couldn't count that high as to how many physicians you have. Uh, oh, yes, you could. It's not that many. 14,000, 13, 14,000, something so like that. Quite, quite yeah. I'm, I'm, it's I'm, a teen thousand. The teen thousand. Yeah, right? I'm That's in the teen thousand number. era. So what's happening in the next year? Both to, to the world and to the Going to get to a higher team thousand, okay. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, you know, we think that there's a great big myth about EMRs. We think 90% of the software development in the EMR world has been about getting the doctor to become her own transcriptionist. Right. Which, like, David Ricardo, like the th author of The Theory of Comparative Advantage, is spinning in his grave and hitting himself on the side of the, like, coffin. Now, I got in started England. in all of this with uh, speech recognition, Dragon Medical, for instance. What to do you get the doctor out of Absolutely. transcribing for what, himself. What do you think right. about that type So of how about anything but the doctor transcribes for themselves? So my when I knowledge I of doctors... Scribe. I, I always scribe, had somebody in my right, office. Scribe, a briefing, it. anything but the doctor being Gunga Din for the doctor. Mm -hmm. Like, please. Okay. There's 80 million of us, and there's only 700,000 doctors, and 200,000 of them don't even practice. So, Jonathan, what, what do you see as the major basis of your success in putting together Athena Health? Because it's been phenomenally successful. I think a really good mission. So, Medical Group's most trusted business service, mm -hmm. which it turns out means if you want to be Medical Group's most trusted business service, you'd be the best in the world at getting doctors paid. So, every once in a while, one of these nabobs shows up and says, but what about quality? How about if we make the doctor more money and they make fewer mistakes? Is that fewer quality? Is good. Oh, hell, you know, I, mean, I don't know what they want. But my theory is that that's a step in the right direction. If every step of public health improvement is matched with a step of physician bottom line improvement, I bet you there's a lot of adoption. A lot of improvement. Right? If you say, well, we're going to do public health because otherwise you're a shameful little man, well, you know what? You're not going to get a lot of love or uptake from that. Similarly, if you say, hey, I'm going to make you a lot of money, but you have to sell Fen Fen, that's also not, not going to work, today. right? So our whole theory is a little bit of each. Be the best in the world at getting doctors paid for being their best selves. And it'll, the it'll aggregate, the yeah. And I feel like Mr. HIS Talk is good for this. When, when because when people start to do a little Fen Fen, Mr. HIS Talk is there with a little cap in your head and says, you're a loser. You just did the he thing like that you said you didn't do, and I have you now. And I love that, and I fear him. I know someday I will be not cute, but ugly on Mr. HIS Talk, and I'm prepared. Anything else you feel like telling us? I've you, you told a little. Like I think I feel like I've told more than I oh, ought to. Lot, lot yeah. to I think we should wrap it right up here. Jonathan? Before I have an issue with Inga. This has been fun. Thank you. Thank you.